All right. So now we'll be solving about uh, profit and loss problems. Okay, we'll be seeing the theory behind profit and loss. In profit and loss, there are formula regarding cost price, sell price. Cost price is known as CP. Sell price is known as SP. And uh, mean price is also there. We have discussed about that in allegation uh, chapter. But in profit and loss, we can easily find out what is the profit value. If you if if the cost price is more than sell price. then there is a loss if the cost price is less than sell price then there is profit and we also need to count and calculate the percentage of profit and the percentage of loss okay we also need to count the discount values of over mrp these are the kind of question we can expect so let's talk about the profit and loss formula here so cost price and selling price cost price cp price at which the article is purchased selling price sp a price at which article is sold profit and loss selling price is more than cost price there is a gain or profit and selling price is less than cost price then there is loss in case of profit selling price minus cost price is the profit so basically you can simply find out the selling price that will be equal to profit minus a uh, profit plus cost price cost price equals to selling price minus profit we also can find it in case of loss loss means cost price minus sell price sell price is lower than the cost price right that's the loss so sell so you can simply rearrange it selling price equals to cost price minus loss and cost price equals to loss plus selling price got it now percentage of profit and loss so profit percentage equals to profit into 100 by cost price quite easy profit by cost price 100% of that that is a percentage value okay for a loss loss by cost price into 100 loss by cost price into 100 that is a loss percentage now from this percentage values we can calculate the selling price so if you know the percentage of profit from here we can find out the selling price selling price equals to, remember selling price equals to in case of a profit selling price equals to cost price plus profit so cost price plus profit what is the profit profit percentage is given so what we need to do cost price into profit percentage by 100 this is what you need to add cost price into profit percentage cost price into profit percentage by 100 so what we get as a cost price here 100 into selling price by 100 plus profit so basically this is the take home formula cost prices formula for a profit 100 into selling price divided by 100 plus profit percentage that's the cost price formula in case of a profit percentage value given similarly a cost price formula in case of a loss percentage given 100 into selling price same thing divided by 100 minus loss percentage so cost price we can calculate in both case in case of profit and loss in case of profit 100 into selling price divided by 100 plus profit percentage for loss 100 into selling price divided by 100 minus loss percentage so example if an object is sold at a loss of 20% if an object is sold at a loss of 20% so the cost price equals to 100 into loss selling price by 100 Minus twenty percent, twenty. Okay. Let's say the selling price was five hundred. So what is the cost price? So it will be hundred into five hundred by eighty. Okay. So it will be six twenty-five. Okay, cost price will be six twenty-five. So loss of twenty percent means cost price will be six twenty-five. Five hundred rupees is the selling price. Loss of twenty percent. Okay. This is how you can calculate with this formula directly. Now about the discount price, mark price, and discount. This is also very important because uh, I have seen CSR ask these questions. the price on the label of an article is called as a mark price 
you call it mark price you call it list price you call it maximum retail price whatever thing you can say you can call not an issue no issue with that okay the deduction on the mark price is called a discount so mrp is 600 10% discount over 10% discount on the mrp so 60 rupees discount so the actual price you will pay the cost price will become 540 okay that will be your cost price and that will be the selling selling price or selling price for the company so selling price equals to the mark price minus discount or mrp minus the discount so from there you can write it at discount equals to mark price minus selling price and mark price equals to discount plus selling price okay remember if there is no discount the mark price is equal to the selling price let's say mrp is 600 rupees and you are the shopkeeper you say that i will not give you any discount so the price is 600 rupees I'll, you have to pay 600 rupees to get this. So, there is no discount. Discount is always calculated on mark price. It is never calculated on the cost price or anything else. Discount will always be calculated on mark price or listing price or MRP. Okay. The discount percentage is the amount of discount into 100 by market price or mark price. Mark price or list price or sell price. Uh, mark price or list price or MRP. Discount percentage will be discount by the mark price into 100. Okay. Remember that. So, if you remember these things that we've discussed till now, you'll be well equipped to answer any of the problem from profit and loss. And profit and loss will require your skill of understanding of percentage calculations. And we all know how to calculate percentage quite easily. All right, so let's take a color here, red color. If a certain sum of money, if a certain sum of money at simple interest, at simple interest amount to 1900 in three years and to 2050 in five years, what is the rate percent per annum? What is the rate of percent per annum? So basically we are talking about simple interest calculation here. So no much problem. The thing says that uh, the simple interest amount for uh, 3 years is 1900 for 5 years is 2050. So basically, in 5 years we receive 2050, in 3 years we receive 1900. So in 2 years, what is the interest earned? Interest earned in 2 years will be 2050 minus 1900. 2050 minus 1900 means 150 rupees. So in 1 year, the amount is 150 by 2 that is 75 rupees 75 rupees of interest earned per year and in simple interest there is no compounding so basically when we calculate the cumulative interest amount we simply uh, multiply the one year's interest with the number of years to get the answer so now we know that in one year we got the interest of 75 percent so we have two situation in three years in five years so in three years the interest earned will be 3 into 75 the total interest in 5 years the interest earned will be 5 into 75 isn't it 3 into 75 225 5 into 75 so let's write 5 into 75 is 375 now what is the question the rate percent per annum okay so the interest rate we got in 3 years is 225 so in 3 years either we can calculate it with 3 years or 5 years let's calculate it with 3 years 3 years interest is 225 three years total amount received was what one nine double zero right one nine double zero so the three years investment the principal amount how much principal amount 1900 minus 225 that is 1675 1675 okay so if that is the case, then what is the amount of interest? Amount of interest. This is the principal amount. This is the principal. So amount of interest is that 225. Simply interest by principal into 100. This is what we will get. So interest was 225 by principal is 1675 into 100. 
that is the percentage of interest per annum so how to calculate the interest per annum interest per annum by principal amount interest per annum is how much 75 rupees and the principal amount is 1675 into 100 is the value in percentage this is how we we'll get the value in percentage if we calculate the value it will come something like 4.5 four and a half so four and a half which one is option a is a four and a half that should be the correct answer okay very simple question but just you need to understand the process always the percentage annum interest is calculated based on the interest received per annum divided by the principal amount so in this question you need to find out the principal amount also need to find out the interest per year and the interest per year by principal into 100 will be the interest amount okay all right let's move to next question here a sum of money amounts to 1150 in 3 years and to 1250 in 5 years at a certain rate percent per annum simple interest the rate percent will be so basically this is exactly the same question that they have asked earlier the same very very same question okay so let's solve it again 3 years so again 3 years the total amount 1150 sum the total sum means the total amount 5 years 1250 so if we divide it 2 years what we'll get 100 rupees in 2 years so one year how much we get 50 rupees so basically interest one year's interest is 50 rupees here one year's interest is 50 rupees basically right two years that is one year's fee is that so it says at a certain rate per uh, simple interest what is the rate of uh, interest so now what we need to do now what we need to do this is per year interest so for a 3 year time being total interest accumulated will be 3 into 50 that is 150 in 3 years total sum that is interest principal we already know 1150 so in 3 years principal principal amount principal amount 1150 minus 150 1000 so the principal is 1000 interest for a year is 50 so now percent annum interest interest calculation will be interest per year divided by principal interest per year is 50 principal was 1000 into 100 that is the percentage value right 5 so 5% will be the answer option a 5% see these two questions are exactly identical exactly the same questions and they have asked this question repeatedly in csir net exam earlier now let's move to the next question where is it let's change the color here a man buys a cycle for rupees 1400 and sells it at a loss of 15% 15 what is the selling price of the cycle man buys a cycle of rupees 1400 and sells it at a loss of 15% what is the selling price of the cycle so it's very simple question okay you can do that either you can do that by selling price cost price that formula or you can simply calculate it with your so buying a cycle of 1400 rupees so 1400 rupees is the cost price right and a loss of 15% so 1400 and loss of 15% on top of 1400 so that is how much 14 into 15 that is 210 loss loss of this amount so original price minus the loss cost price minus the loss 1400 minus 210 gives out 1190 this much is the selling price 1190 so the question answers is what is the selling price basically cost price minus loss here equals to the selling price and that's what we find already here 1190 that is option a 11 uh, sorry op, uh, not option a uh, option c 1190 okay so this is how you answer percentage 
and uh, profit loss problems which will also deal with percentage percentage is everywhere in profit loss in uh, cistern pipes in simple interest compound interest all these places